Hi everybody, uh, Gabby here again, bringing you another battle. Um, today we're actually doing a best of three game against uh, the Battle Room, aka my good friend Colin. Uh, Colin got third place at Worlds this year and he's been doing really well at regionals and premier challenges and what have you, so he's definitely a player to uh, keep an eye on. He's really good. And he's just a really nice person too. So uh, thanks again, uh, Colin, for stepping up and uh, battling me while the uh, global link is still down. I completely forgot that that's a thing on Mondays and uh, I thought it would be resolved considering it's like 8 o'clock PST at this point, but apparently not. So we're doing a best of three game today and uh, I am going to try and take notes. So I apologize if uh, I'm like a little bit distracted uh, or if I get distracted from recording and I play poorly. Um, I'm gonna try and be a little less nervous this time. So good luck and have fun, Colin. All right, so it looks like he has a team with a uh, Thunderous, a uh, Suicune, Latios, Conkelder, Heatran, and Metagross. A uh, very interesting team. Um, I believe this looks like the team that he used for uh, possibly winter regionals. Um, I'm not 100% sure. And I do believe that team had a Mega Latios on it. So I'm not really sure if that Metagross is the Mega, even though like I think most people would assume that's the play. Um, so in my case, looking at this team, I think the biggest threat, um, for me is, well, a lot of things. I'm running a rain team that, uh, has a decent matchup against most of this stuff, but not that good. Um, I'm just going to go for a solid lead. Uh, Thunderous Polytoad is my go-to, um, with this team, and I'll explain a little bit more why after that. I'm gonna bring Metagross in the back. Um, with Rain, I don't really need to worry too too much about Heatran, though it may have Earth Power. Um, and then, uh, just thinking, I think Ludicolo is gonna be my final slot because it'll help against, um, with Ice Beam against Thunderous, it'll help with Giga Drain against Suicune, um, and it'll just be able to take advantage of the Rain that I set up. And it's also just a really good switch in for a lot of stuff. Um, I run the Assault Vest variety, so it's a little bit bulky. It gets the job done. All right, so Colin sends out his Metagross and his Thunderous. I send out my Thunderous and my Politoed. Um, I do get the rain up. Um, can't say I'm surprised. There's really nothing on his team to stop weather. And now the mind games begin. Um, I run a slow Thunderous. Um, so if he's going to taunt me, I really, really don't want to uh, play into that. But what I can do is double something and maybe get a KO. Um, looking at my team and the Pokemon that I brought, uh, I don't think Thunderous is the bigger threat for me right now. I think I'm more concerned about that Metagross. So I'm going to make a pretty risky play and I'm going to double into it right off the bat. Uh, Metagross does Mega Evolve, so that's something that's definitely worth noting down. Um, potential for double Mega, it's hard to say. Um, anyways, he Mega Evolves does not protect. Politoed goes first because it's actually a Choice Scarf, um, which is fun. It means I get to outspeed stuff. Um, so Thunderbolt does about maybe 40% damage, um, and then I outspeed his Metagross, because it had just Mega Evolved this turn, and Thunder gets the KO, meaning that I am up uh, three, oh, 4-3 right now, but it's just the first turn. A lot of things can change. Like, I'm kind of in this important... It oh, sorry, I saw the nicknames and I laughed. Um, I'm in this unfortunate position here where, because I'm Choice Scarfed, Politoed is now locked into Scald, and while it will do some stuff against... Uh, Call and see if it really won't help much. Um, so really, I think my play here depends on what I think his Suicune's gonna do, because I don't want it to set up Tailwind, because um, speed control is something that this team kind of struggles with a little bit. Uh, so it's really... But at the same time, if he Ice Beams, then I'm just pretty much handing him my Thunderous on a platter, which is also not really that good. Um, so he 
he also attacked with his thunderous first turn, meaning it also may be slow. Um, I don't know if I want to play the uh, who's going to taunt what game, but um, I think I'm just going to actually set up Thunder Wave on Suicune, and then I'm going to switch into Ludicolo and get Politoed out of there so I can come back in and pick a different move. Uh, we'll see if that was the right play. I really don't know. Thunderous Mirror matches are really mind games until you establish which is the faster Thunderous. Um, I do get Thunder Wave onto Suicune, which is good. I don't know if Taunt would have been the better play there. Uh, Thunderous goes for Thunderbolt again, does nothing to Ludicolo, and he does get Tailwind up, meaning that I probably should have just taunted there instead of Thunder Waving. Um, but maybe I can bluff not having Taunt for game two. Uh, a lot of what I try and keep in mind when playing best of three games is a combination of both how I am playing the game and how my opponent sees me playing the game. Because sometimes it really helps if like you think ahead and try to bluff, like, oh, maybe I don't have taunt. And then maybe next game he'll make some play thinking, oh, she clearly would have taunted there. Um, so I'll do this instead. Um, anyways, uh, gonna thunder into that Suicune. Uh, pretty straightforward, just trying to do some damage. Uh, the real question is, Thunderous, what do I want to do about you? It's definitely the fastest thing on the field right now, and I can't paralyze it. I could go for a fake out. Actually, wait. I could fake out Thunder the Thunderous, get some damage, get an idea of how bulky it is, and then worry about what's going to happen next. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Ludiolo, the Ludicolo, uses fake out. Not surprised. Uh, he flinches. Again, not surprised. Uh, thunder happens. Let's see how bulky that Thunderous is. Okay, so it's bulky citrus. Um, judging by the fact that it, that only did like a quarter, I'd say it's definitely full HP. And I get a bit of hacks there with the fully paralyzed Suicune. Uh, that's going to work out really well in my favor. Um, knowing how that thunder roll happened, I'm pretty sure it'll take three ice beams to kill Thunderous right now. Um, just trying to think, is it still my priority in this game? Uh, it'd really help if I actually if Sui could attack that turn, because I'd be interested to know what he's worried about. Because we're still pretty much tied when you think about it. Um, anyways, sorry passerby, Callan, I'm already battling. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to Thunder into that Suicune. Again, I want to get an idea of how bulky it is, and I'll just go for the Ice Beam into Thunderous. Uh, Thunderous, Thunder Waves, um, I bet you that's what he was trying to do last turn, honestly. Uh, very solid play. Ludicolo basically now Swift Swim's nerfed. Which means I can still do a decent amount of interesting- Oh, Sorry about that, Colin. Um, Ice Beam Freeze. 10% chance of happening, if memory serves correctly. Um, really is going to help me out here, because that means his Thunderous can't do anything next turn, unless he gets a one-turn Thaw, which while possible and arguably more probable in my games at least, uh, I think it's safe to say that I'm just going to press the thunder button again and press the ice beam button again and hopefully bring this game down to a one on four. Uh, he does not thaw. Again, I'm really sorry about this hacks. Um, thunder will kill that Suicune. Uh, Ludicolo will hopefully connect the Ice Beam. I don't see why it wouldn't, unless he's running Bright Powder. I don't think we've seen an item on that Thunderous yet. Um, which is also interesting, because he was switching moves, so it's not like it's a choice item or anything. Uh, the rain stops, Tailwind's gone. Um, not sure if that really makes a difference at this point, considering it's 4 on 1 against a Heatran, and I'm just going to go for Thunder Wave and switch in Politoed here. Um, but now here's where the real games begin. Uh, just because, remember, this is best of three, which does allow for um, correction in terms of just getting completely hacked out game one. I would not be surprised if Colin just comes out of the gates, like, roaring, if you will, uh, in the next game. So while this game finishes up, I'm going to try and focus on um, basically what should, do I want to be doing next game. 
and maybe what information I can kind of glean from this heatran. Um, we know it's not lumberry. Um, I am really curious, maybe that means it's leftover, maybe it means it's substitute. Um, I'm going for Scald here. Again, I don't want to reveal too much information about my Politoed, especially the fact that it does carry Hydro Pump. And judging by that damage roll from Scald, Hydro Pump will one-hit KO Heatran, so that might be a bit of information that could come in handy in my next game. And if I were, like, religiously taking notes, I'd definitely write that down. So, good game one, Colin. I'm really sorry about the hacks. Um, yeah, that, that was a rough game. Um, but yeah, let, let's get game two started. <laughs> um, so game two is really interesting because you have to play the game of whether or not your opponent's going to lead the same thing and whether or not you want to. Um, in my case, and I feel like in a lot of people's cases when they've won game one, they think, oh, I'll just do the same thing again and everything will be fine. But in reality, like everything is not really that fine. Um, I'm thinking that... I do want to bring the same four Pokemon because I don't really see any use that Amoongus or Scrafty will have in this game. Especially since, like, um, you know, Scrafty is not going to help too, too much on a team that has Conkeldur. Um, and Amoongus, while it's nice to, like, Rage Powder stuff, I don't really think I need it. I really need that offensive momentum that Running Rain and having Politoed and Ludicolo give me. So... That leaves me two options. One, I could lead Polito Ludicolo, which is something I don't like to do with this team because Ludicolo is really a lot better when it comes at second. I could lead Thunderous Politoed again and hope that he really does not try to like just counter team that lead. Or I could maybe try leading something like Politoed Metagross, which is really kind of weird and doesn't really give me much ability to respond to whatever he does. And oh god. I think I'm going to lead Ludicolo Thunderous, so I have access to the Fake Out. I can switch easy enough. Um, I want to keep that Metagross in the back. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable leading Metagross, especially when I know there could be a Heatran lying around. Um, just a personal preference thing. I don't really think there's any sort of like, oh no, you should never lead Metagross like, because of a reason. It's just my playstyle. It's just what I'm used to. Um, all right, so let's see. He leads, uh, same lead. Interesting. Uh, so now we get to look at what's different. Um, I do know that my Thunderous may outspeed his, and that that Metagross is a Mega, and if I had Politoed and, uh, whatchamacallit, Thunderous on the field, I probably would be tempted to go in and double it. Um, instead, I'm gonna take a little gamble here. I'm actually gonna go to taunt that Thunderous, because I don't want it setting up paralysis on me and possibly, like, uh, you know, haxing me out. Um, and I'm gonna go for the Fake Out onto the Metagross, just to try and minimize damage this turn. If he does attack with that Thunderbolt, I'm not too worried about what happens. All right, so we see the Mega Evolution again from that Metagross. Maybe that means he didn't bring Latios. I don't know. Uh, fake Out happens. Um, he didn't protect, which is interesting. And I get the taunt. Um, the question is, did he attack? He did not attack. He went straight for the Thunderbolt onto that Thunderous. If I were him, scoring the crit, uh, I would assume that would be where I'd switch in uh, Politoed. So, good play on his part. I'm actually gonna go uh, start just setting up Paralysis on everything. Uh, I know that I can survive one more Thunderbolt from that Thunderous. I don't think he's gonna switch out because I think he wants to prioritize just killing things right now. Which, he does switch out his Metagross, which I think was a really strong play, and sends his, his Conkeldur, um, which I wouldn't be surprised has Guts. Like, especially by that play, I feel like the Paralysis was a very obvious kind of play on my part. Um, oh no, he has Lumberry, so it must be Iron Fist. Okay, cool. Um, so, good news is, I didn't superpower his Thunderous. Bad news is, he scores a double crit, totally getting back at me for the hacks last game. And just putting me in kind of an awkward position, but nothing too, too bad. Um, 
I'm going to send in my Metagross here uh, because while Thunderbolt will do some damage, um, it will not KO, and I'm actually kind of hoping to be able to just Zen Headbutt that Conkeldur and... Well, actually, let me think. I I would be really surprised if Conkeldur was not EV'd to survive a Zen Headbutt. Um, my gut here is almost to protect and then just get some chip damage on that Conkeldur so I could then attack it. But honestly, I don't want to risk that Thunderous' taunt running out. So instead, I'm just gonna go for the safe, kind of obvious play of just attacking everything. Um, he switches out his Thunderous, which is fine with me. That's one less thing that can attack this turn. Sends in his Metagross. Again, fine with me. Um, I'm not too worried about that th that Metagross at this point in time. Honestly, I'm more worried about what that Conkeldur is going to do. Um, I want to say it's going to... Okay, never mind. It's going to mock Punch my Ludicolo. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Makes me wish that I would have actually set up my Substitute here, because that would have given me some... Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, longevity? <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. It would have made it so, like, next turn, I wouldn't have to worry on the Metagross on Metagross game. I wouldn't have to worry about get accidentally getting paralyzed. Um, but instead, I get a crit ice beam. Which, again, not too, too bad. Alright, and there is that Suicune. I would be very surprised if he didn't set up Tailwind here. Um... So here's my predicament. Do I set up Substitute here and hope that he doesn't break my sub and then set up Tailwind um, in the same turn? Or do I set up sub thinking that he's going to set up sub and Tailwind? Or, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of mind games. I don't know enough about this Metagross to make the informed decision based off of what he thinks he's, what I think he's going to do. So I need to make a play off of what I want to do. And what I want to do is, uh, that's a good question, um, <laughs> looking, I have Politoed in the back. Politoed does not have a good matchup against that Suicune at all, whereas I could get lucky with some fast Scalds and just kill that Metagross before it does much damage to me. I think I'm going to actually make a really stupid play and double into that Suicune in hopes that I kill it. Uh, Zen Headbutt does connect to Suicune. Worth noting that I... Oh, it's Rocky Helmet. Okay. Uh, worth noting that I actually outspeed his Metagross. I don't know if that was a speed tie or not. I am running Timid... Um, timid Max Speed. Uh, does go for the Tailwind, which makes me think, yeah... Maybe it would have been a better play to press the Substitute button there. Because now he's faster and he can pretty much do whatever he wants. Um, which will probably be killing Ludicolo this turn. Um, the good news is, though, is that Suicune is at low enough health that I don't really have too much to worry about. Um, and because I'm going to move second, it really comes down to how much HP I think I'm going to have after he attacks, as to whether or not I want to substitute or not. Um, I'm going to do something kind of risky and just go for it. Actually, no, I want to save that for game three. Um, if, if things go bad, I definitely want to have that in my back pocket for game three. Uh, so for now, I'm going to try and... Oh, I don't know if Iron Head would kill, honestly, because it did so... Zen Headbutt did so little damage. I'm going to go for it. Iron Head onto that Suicune, praying for a kill, and... Uh, let me think here. If I switch in Poly... Neither Politoed or Ludicolo can really stop, help stall out his uh, Tailwind at this point. So my best bet is to, I think, just sacrifice Ludicolo here and just hope that, hey, maybe I'll get an attack off, maybe I'll get a Scald off onto that uh, Metagross. Alright, going for the Zen Headbutt. Oh, I get the miss, and that's huge. Scald attacks my Metagross, gets a crit, it, okay, gets a crit burn, maybe we're fair, or maybe we're even after that turn, I don't know. Iron Head happens, will not kill, there's a burn in the mix, like, and Rocky Helmet, like, Metagross is just not happy. Though I'm really happy I did not go for the substitute there. Scald happens onto his Metagross, doesn't get a burn, can't say I'm surprised. Um, 
still does not look that good for me here. Um, so let me think. It looks like I'm gonna lose both Pokemon here. So the question is, if for some reason I don't, who do I want, like, knocked out? And really my only choice is to try and finish off that Suicune. That burn really did save him there. But this has been a really haxy kind of match all around, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Zen Headbutt does connect this time. Ludicolo faints. Scald's definitely gonna connect with my Metagross. So Metagross faints. Um, normally, when I'm down to one on three in a best of three game, I would seriously consider forfeiting. Um, I don't want to give too much information to my opponent about what my team is. That being said, I really want to know how Politoed matches up against these Pokemon under Tailwind you know, going into game three, because I feel like that's really going to affect how I play. So I'm going to just go for Scald onto that Metagross. I just want to see A, will I outspeed with Choice Scarf under Tailwind, and B, maybe how much damage he'll do. So I do not outspeed the Metagross. Zen Headbutt does not KO, but they both outspeed. Which is fine, that's exactly what I wanted to learn from this. So I feel like I'm going into game three a lot smarter. And plus, since I died, I didn't really give out any more information about Politoed anyways. So it might have actually been more helpful for him to know that I could outspeed him in Tailwind. All right, so good games. Uh, now we're on to game three. So I really think that Politoed Thunderous is actually my best lead against this team. I think it helps Ludicolo to have rain up by the time that it um, enters the field. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I still do not see a reason to bring Amoongus or Scrafty. Um, I just don't think it'd be worth it. So, all right, so good luck, have fun, Colin. This is game three. Um, I'm really happy that uh, despite all the hacks, we've managed to get to game three. I, I feel like it's balanced out at this point, which is really all you can hope for when playing. And honestly, this is kind of why I've been hoping slash dreaming of a national championship uh, tournament, not cycle, um, or a regionals tournament with more best of three games, because it's just, it allows the better players to be more consistent. Like, anybody can get lucky with, like, swagger or... Ice Beam freezes, or I don't know, Scald burns, but uh, you know, on the long scale of things, you know, mathematically speaking anyways, best of three allows you to have just more consistency. And um, I mean, I might be a little bit biased. I've always uh, favored best of three personally, because I find it, I find the mind games you play a lot more fun than best of one. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy that these are such great matches. All right, so let's see what uh, Colin's gonna lead. It looks like he's leading... Oh, so he finally brings out the Latios. This is interesting. Um, I'm happy to see it, because honestly, at this point, I'm really curious, especially like what he thinks he can gain from that Latios that he might not gain uh, otherwise. Um, so this is where things get interesting. Um, every single time so far, that I've seen Thunderous lead. He always goes straight for the attack onto my Thunderous. Um, Latios, I know that Draco Meteor is still its strongest move. I don't really know if this is actually what it's gonna do or not. I actually haven't played that many Latios. I ran a Latios team for a while and I really liked it, but it was mostly a bulky recover, I'm just gonna outlast you kind of thing. Um, so in this case, when I see something I don't really know what it's going to do, or I don't really know what I want it to do, I just go in guns blazing. And I think that in a in the third game of best of three, sometimes it's the crazier plays that can allow you to win, and because this is a fun match, I'm just going to go for it. So I go for the Ice Beam and the Thunder onto that Latios. Ice Beam does half, Draco Meteor happens, it connects with my Politoed, Probably will knock it out, because I don't have any bulk invested whatsoever. Oh! I live with 9 HP. That's great. It turns out Latios is Life Orb, which is very interesting. Thunderbolt goes into my Thunderous. Again, we know that's not going to kill, even if it crits. 
Um, which leaves me right above half, which is unfortunate because that means my Citrus Berry doesn't activate. Um, also, my Thunder doesn't kill his Latios, which is fine. Um, I know that he's probably actually going to switch out this turn because he's at minus two. Um, and I outspeed with my Politoed anyways. Um, so knowing that he's actually probably going to switch out that Latios, I'm going to make a kind of weird play. I'm going to taunt his Thunderous, hoping that he doesn't go for the Thunder Wave on my Ludicolo that I'm switching in right now. I don't think he's actually going to Thunder Wave this turn, but I just want to cover my bases in the off chance that he does. And even if he does decide to attack the Politoed slot, he's at minus two, and I have an Assault Vest. Um, he doesn't. He switches out into Pretty Seijin. <laughs> I'm sorry, these nicknames are fantastic. Which is his Suicune, um, which I'm fine with. Uh, he's When he set up Tailwind, that actually like kind of won him the game, so I'm going to be a little bit more cautious this time. Uh, he Thunderbolts into the Ludicolo slot, hopefully does not get the Paralysis. He does not. I'm going to go straight for the Taunt onto that Suicune, and I'm just going to start chip damage, getting some chip damage onto that Thunderous. I know that he's probably going to see through my play and not press the Tailwind button, but I don't want to take that risk, because I, when he set up Tailwind last game, that's really what destroyed my momentum. And I think Thunderous is at enough HP where he could live one attack, provided he doesn't double into Thunderous. At which point, though, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. We'll find out. He's taking a lot of time to play this turn, so... I hope it's a good play. I, I'm really wondering if he's going to see through my uh, my taunt. Alright, so taunt happens. Ludicolo does go first because of uh, Swift Swim. Gets that Ice Beam. It's going to do a little less than half. No freeze this time. Thunderbolt onto the Ludicolo. Does that. Uh, sorry, it brings me down to half. Scald onto Thunderous. Lives with 3 HP but gets the burn. Um, but because of my Citrus Berry, I will live to see another day. Uh, that was cutting it way too close. I'm very thankful that I survived that. Um, so now here's the interesting question. What will be the most optimum thing for my Thunderous to do um, this turn? I know that Ice Beam probably won't kill the, his Thunderous on its own, but my Politoed's faster, and it'll be at the range where Scald can kill it. And I still haven't shown that I had Hydro Pump yet, either. Um, so I'm gonna Thunder into that Suicun because I know it did a lot of damage last time. And then I'm gonna Ice Beam into his Thunderous. I think if he's smart, he's gonna actually switch out his Suicun here, because it's taunted, and Burn's gonna kill me this turn anyways. Um, actually, if he doesn't switch out... I don't think that would screw me over that much. You know what? I'm going to double into the Thunderous instead here. I think that... Well, he doesn't switch Suicune out. Which was probably the right play on his part. I don't know why I just got the feeling that he'd switch there. I think it was because I thought that he'd prioritize getting Tailwind up next time. Uh, Thunderous does Thunderbolt Ludicolo again. Thunder goes into his Thunderous. I think it should kill. Um, I forget what the exact health was. Yep, there's the kill. Um, Suicune's probably gonna go for the Scald. Oh, Snarl! Okay, interesting. Um, I can't say I'm surprised. Snarl is a very common move. Um, especially on the legendary dogs, because there are a lot of special attackers right now and in the metagame, and my team is definitely no exception to that rule. Uh, so let's see, I know he has a Latios with like 4 HP left that my Ludicolo will outspeed. He has that Suicune, and then he probably has his Metagross, so I'm going to send in my Metagross. Yep, there is Metagross. And I know that Ludicolo is going to be faster this turn, and I think what I want to do here is Giga Drain that Suicune, Mega Evolve, and I'm actually going to try and set up a Substitute. Um, I think, oh, yeah, I think it would be more beneficial for me to have a free turn with no damage in the future. Um, Alright, my Metagross Megavolves first, um, 
I don't know if that means I'm permanently faster. I can't remember what happened in game two. This is the stuff I usually know, but again, I actually like wrote the first letters of each of his Pokemon and then left it at that. I'm doing a really good job. Uh, Ludicolo, Swift Swim, get, lets, allows it to go first with that Giga Drain, gives it a little more HP. Um, I'm hoping that that'll help it just live this turn. Uh, my Metagross does get the sub up, which is great, even if he does Snarl again and do a little damage, like, I'll be fine. Uh, Zen Headbutt connects with my Ludicolo, I think. It happens. And that means I'm probably gonna get Scalded in the face, which does happen, which means I'm out my sub. It actually might have been better to do damage there, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so here's where things get interesting. I think that my only option to win this game, at this point in time at least, is to just go for the Hydro Pump onto that Metagross, hope that it kills, and then maybe just start flinching stuff. Um, Zen Headbutt didn't do a lot of damage to that Suicune last time, but it's a stab that it doesn't really resist as much as Steel. Um, so yeah, let's see how the Hydro Pump button works. Uh, his Metagross protects, which is a really good play, meaning that chances are his Suicune's actually going to Snarl here, which I think is probably a great play. Uh, unless I get lucky with the Zen Headbutt flinch, so we'll see how that happens. I get a crit, which is nice. I do not get a flinch. He does set up Tailwind, meaning, because we know now that both of his Pokemon are now faster than my uh, Politoed, and I can't really protect or do anything, so I think that is a good game for me. Um, I really needed that flinch there. Um, maybe I could have actually, like, doubled into the Suicune. That might have been the better play, but I don't know. For some reason, I didn't think he was running Protect. Um, he uses Earthquake, um, which knocks out everything but uh, my Metagross, basically. Which means if I really wanted to, like be a jerk, I could try and like protect stall out his uh, Tailwind and then just go for like flinches upon flinches, but I don't think it's worth that. We had a really good set, I'm just gonna forfeit and call it a night. Um, so yeah, those were three amazing games against uh, the Battle Room aka Colin. Um, I'll link his Twitter in the uh, YouTube info so you can uh, check it out. Um, again, he's a really cool guy and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how he does at regionals this year. I think it'll definitely be like, um, or well, regionals this spring. I think he's definitely going to do well. So thanks so much, Colin. Um, if you like this video, if you have any questions for me or Colin, um, you know, we're both on Twitter. Um, the info's down below. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you tomorrow for another Battle of Day. Bye.